Hello and welcome to another episode of Pollinator Plant Spotlight. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lori and I garden in upstate New York in Zone 5A. The Pollinator Plant Spotlight videos are designed to focus a little bit of light on specific plants that are beneficial to pollinators either as a host plant or as a nectar plant or oftentimes both. Today's video features Canoclinium colistinum, or blue mist flower. Sometimes it's called false ageratum because it looks very similar to the annual ageratum flower, although it's quite a bit larger. Canoclinium is native to about most of the eastern half of the United States, not in the very top of New England, but down into the south and all of the mid-Atlantic states. It's hardy in zones five through 10, and it tolerates quite a range of soils, although it does tend to like it to be a little bit more on the moist side when it's just getting established, but after that, it's pretty carefree. It has a late bloom time from July through October. This is a great plant because it blooms late in the season for those last straggler butterflies that come through. It does prefer full sun, although it can take some partial shade. I have mine in a bit of partial shade and it got quite large. It grows about two to three feet tall and it will spread by rhizomes. So this is something you may want to keep an eye on to make sure it doesn't spread. You can thin it out in the spring. It does emerge a little bit later in the spring. So keep an eye on it and don't be worried if you don't see it right away. I know we gardeners get anxious for things to start coming up right away as soon as the snow is melted. When it's in bloom, the conoclinium is covered with little fuzzy puffs of kind of blue violet flowers, and it will bloom for at least five weeks or so into the late fall. You can either start the conoclinium from seed, or you can purchase already growing plants. I'll put a link in the description for a couple of places where you can buy both of those. If you do choose to start the conoclinium from seed, it does require some cold stratification of, I believe it's 60 days of cold, moist stratification, which you can do in the refrigerator in the early winter, or you can plant them just in the ground outside. Since this plant does spread by rhizomes, you can also just pull chunks of it out and, and propagate it by root division as well. Conoclinium is a member of the aster family, so as you can imagine, it's quite beneficial to pollinators. It's a host plant for over 20 species of moths. Some of these moths include the really cool looking ruby tiger, the American snout, which is very fun looking, the eastern tailed blue, and the Hackberry Emperor, among many others. And again, with this blooming late in the summer, this is gonna be a magnet for the butterflies. You can see here, my conoclinium was just covered with butterflies. In particular, the fritillaries really love this. I had all kinds of things visiting it, but mostly the fritillaries. I have a lot of violets in my yard, so that also contributed to why I had so many of those. So if you've never heard of the conoclinium before, I hope you might try to find a little bit of room for it in your garden or even try planting it in a container. It'll be great for the pollinators and for the wildlife. If you found this video informational, I would love it if you would click like and subscribe and you can join me in my pollinator adventures. Have a great day.